band. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Bernard Bernardo, a.k.a. Papa Stoop, Stoop Dog's father, Dan's Dillis' uncle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, this is my promo for a documentary, The Detroit Bell Man. I, I want everybody to know how everything got started. It really got started with Stoop's mom, Beverly, uh, the day we, we got put her, uh, put her to rest. And Robert, Rob and uh, the Senate board, uh, they do uh, prison reform. And she was, she was a board member on their board for 10 years. So what happened was, I was in the limousine, I seen Rob and his wife walking back towards the vans. I had seen Rob, I really didn't know who he was. I met him twice. So I invited him and his wife to, to ride back to the compound with me. I told him it would be a lot easier to ride with me instead of riding the van, you, you'll get in a lot quicker. So he jumps in the car, we take off. So I, I, first thing I asked Rob, I said, where are you from, Rob? He said, from Detroit. I said, I lived in Detroit for 10 years. I said, what part of Detroit you from? He said, the east side. So I lived on the east side. And how I ran when I told him that I was a mailman at Kensington Post Office, and my route was to Ball Fort, Nottingham, Somerset, and Biggersville from my 94th service drive to Warren. That was his neighborhood. So we took it from there, so he gave me his number, I gave him mine. I said, let's stay in touch. So we started calling one another back and forth, back and forth, got talking, and, and Rob sent me a resume, all the things he had did. He had a show back in Cincinnati called his Keep It Real show. All the rappers back in the day that was coming up, the same time Snoop and my nephew Dash was coming up, they came through his show. I was impressed. And then I, I, I was so, uh, telling Rob about my resume. So it, it was like, it was a marriage made in heaven. Cause he did this thing, interviewing people. I did my thing on the road, working on videos with DJ Pooh, being in a couple moves, uh, movies, uh, rhymes and reasons, make it rain, then all eyes on me, why it makes big screen. So we took it, took it from there. This uh, documentary is about me being a mailman in Detroit for 10 years. People don't realize you can get killed being a mailman. And during that time when I was in Detroit from 1985 to 95, yeah, it was drug infested. I started working on, on eight mile living us at, at uh, College Park Post Office for almost four years. I bought a house on the east side on White Hill in Yorkshire, not too far from Denver High School. So I transferred to the east side because Kinsley's Post Office was like about a 10 minute drive from my house. And that's how I began to realize that the east side of Detroit was a lot harder than the west side. West side, they had drug dealers, but they was here and there. East side was infested with drug dealers. Maserati Rick, uh, 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 Demetrius Holloway, Boogaloo Brown, all them guys, they all came from the east side. I'd heard, I'd heard the names, but hey, hey, I'm brand new in Detroit. So me and my son, Stu, we moved to my house in 1987 on White Hill. Stu was working at McDonald's Lake Mountains in Woodenham, and just so happened by the time Summertime, uh, by the time school started, he went back to Long Beach. But that being said, you're gonna love this documentary. This is a documentary for everybody who works at the post office, especially the ones in Detroit, but especially it's for the mailman. People don't realize that you got mail handlers, you got clerks, but the mailman is like, a, like, like infantry. We the foot, so, we the foot soldiers. We don't want to take, bring the mail to you, rain, sleet, or snow. And I mean that. I walked in a lot of snow in Detroit. I trained, I trained carriers in Detroit. I was all over Detroit. Wait, this, this is my head. I wore in Detroit for 10 years. We called it the uh, safari cap. When it rained, you didn't feel nothing. When it snowed, you didn't feel nothing. You had three holes right here. That was your ventilation. Put your ear muffs on in one at a time. Put this on. A skull cap and it was cool. When it rained, just put this on. And believe, believe me, your head will not get wet. Anyway. This is for the U.S. Post Office for all the mail, man, who I work with in Detroit. Don't forget, this is for the, my safari cap I got at College Park in 1985. Be on, be on the lookout for the Detroit mail, man. Bernie Alfonado, a.k.a. Papa Stu, produced by Rob and Lucinda Boyd. Coming soon, this summer. Just stand by. We on our way. Talk to you later.